Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Double Bass Textures by Emergence Audio. With pads, drones, pulses, and more, Double Bass Textures takes the familiar sound of a double bass and brings it into a whole new world of dark and lovely textures. Double Bass Textures is compatible with the Free Contact Player and also NKS compatible. It downloads as over 5 gigabytes and includes 7 categories of presets with a total of over 100 individual presets and 15 multis. Double Bass Textures is available from Emergence Audio for $99, but at time of review was available for the introductory price of $59. This is one of many instruments by Emergence Audio that uses the Infinite Motion Engine, which we're gonna go into in just a few minutes as we get into the presets. Essentially what you'll find in this instrument is that there are two sound layers that are controlled by an LFO, so they're modulated together, they're modulated separately, however you set them. You can modulate the effects, you can modulate the ADSR, you can modulate filters. There's just a whole lot of possibilities here. You'll see in the presets, you have a number of different sound categories from bins, correlated, experiments, drones, pads, pulses, and swells. And in addition to that, you also have some multis that we can dive into. So I'm just gonna dive straight into the sounds and let you kind of hear um, some examples of what the presets are all about. So let's start with this bass bend number one. That's pretty cool. And obviously you can tell these are based, these are, these are based on the double bass. That's hard to say. And let's go to preset number two. And number three. And let's jump down a bit. Let's go to number six. And let's do one more of these. How about number nine? All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the correlated area. And I believe these are actually where one thing that you'll notice is in the previous presets. And as we move along, you're going to notice that the two sound cores are going to match when you're in the correlated area. So we've got this um, detached reverse. So when you're in the correlated area, you're gonna have the same sound, but it's going to be presented in a different way. And so just kind of listen as this plays. One of the things that I really like about the Infinite Motion Engine is that you have these really long samples that you can play with. Let's actually turn that up a bit. I'm gonna turn the contact engine up some. And 
And one thing you'll notice is that the center dial, it actually morphs between the two different sound layers. Um, so you'll see in some of these, it modulates back and forth between the layers. And this one, it's pretty much staying with this side here. Let's go ahead and jump down to the Flotando muted and see what we have. Really, really beautiful. Let's go down to normal muted. Really, really nice. Gosh, I can imagine doing some fantastic textures with this. How about uh, Punta Darko, maybe? Maybe that's how you say it. And you'll kind of just kind of watch this evolve as well as the sound moves along. Those are some really great bass samples. Really liking those. How about um, the Soul Pont non Vib? Let's try that. Boy, there's one that just has a kind of a terrifying beauty to it. <laughs> That's really nice. How about the Soltasto non vib? Really, really nice. Okay, let's jump down to the experiment and let's start with the black hole. How about that? That sounds like a promising one. That is something I did not expect at all. <laughs> How about crazy fire camp experiments? And you can see here, you've got two different samples. So we've got the Punta Darko reverse and then the regular Punto Darko. Okay, so I want to point this out. Watch the middle dial and watch these two filters. Yeah. 
So the LFO is going crazy fast there. The rate is 11 hertz. Now let's walk through the engine just a little bit. There's a whole lot more sounds to cover, but just to give you an idea of what you've got here, obviously you've got ADSR controls for each of the sound layers. These can actually be linked so that if I, right now they are linked. If I were to delink them, you can actually control these individually. If I link them, one of them will control the other one. This is obviously the way that you control which sound layer is being triggered. Um, if you sync this with your LFO, you can see here it's synced. Um, if I if I sync it here, I can sync it with my BPM. Currently, we just have the BPM tur turned off so you can do it by the frequency. You can modulate your cutoff. Any of these things that have the attenuator here, I think that's what it is, the attenuator, you can uh, have it on here so that essentially you can see as I'm moving that LFO there, I'm controlling how much it's going to modulate. So I have a way to control what the frequency is by moving the knob up and down, but then I can move the attenuator up and down to actually control just how much is modulated. You can flip the polarity so that especially like if you've got a, a two low pass filters or two high pass filters, one for each one, by flipping the polarity, you know, you'll have a different polarity on the one layer than you will on the other, for instance, which is really cool. Your LFO, you can pick from all of the different uh, waveforms. You've got your sine, your triangle, your saw, your square, and you can randomize it. Um, Obviously, your rate controls how fast your LFO is moving. Your depth is just how much it's moving. And here is the control for each sound layer. Um, and also you have your effects. You can see you've got a number of effects here. Once again, you've got the attenuator here so that you can uh, make that be controlled by the center dial that's modulating back and forth in conjunction with the LFO. So that will actually control the effects. So there's just a whole lot of possibilities. And if you don't like messing with all the knobs and playing around, you've got your random button here, which randomizes your sound layers and your controls to come up with some happy accents. So let's just hit that random button again and see what we come up with. Okay, so it's keeping that the same. Let's see here. So you can see as I move that back and forth, now I'm only staying on the left sound layer. Now I'm gonna move it to the right. And of course I can move it down so that now I'm not even, I'm not even modulating, right? And as I move that up, so, Let's go ahead and put it in sync. I think my DAW is at 120 BPM right now. So we're gonna put this at, let's turn this quite a bit up. Let's go to maybe eighth notes. And let's, let's turn up the strength of this. So you can have a lot of fun with this. You can create some really, really cool textures. Okay, let's move along through the sounds here. How about for experimental, let's go to distant raindrops experiment. See here we have a random waveform, which is why you're getting these interesting movements. Watch, watch the dial as we hold that down. You can really see some interesting movements happening. It's kind of dancing with that random form, which is just really, really cool. OK. 
Okay, let's jump down to Echoplex and see what we have there. And obviously I'm in a very experimental one right now. So these are gonna be kind of crazy. And there's actually some more presets that even fall out of the screen. I'm gonna jump down to the drones though, so you can get an idea of some of the more playable things within the library. So let's go to Against Gravity and start with that one in our drone category. That, my friends, is what you call a cool drone. <laughs> I like that. That's super cool. Wow. I mean, I, I can imagine these as just some incredibly cool textures for something like, you know, not just for scores, but even for things like trailer tracks, like dark industrial trailer tracks. How cool would that sound? Let's try Biome. Once again, super cool drone. Let's go down to Cavern Infinite. One of the things that's so absolutely cool about that is just how long the samples are. I mean, you could see if you if you pay attention as I'm holding down the keys, you can see these just evolve for a very long time, which means you create all you get all of these nuances and shades and just so, so cool. OK, let's go to how about high tension infinite drone? These are cool. These are really cool. How about Subtle Drama Infinite Drone? And I'm just going to hold these down. I'm not even going to move them so you can hear these long samples.
Now we just made it through the sample on the right hand side and we're still only halfway through the sample on the left hand side. So as the sample on the right hand side begins to re-trigger, uh, it's going to combine in a different way because we're still on our first pass on this sample. So you just get these unique textures that just don't repeat for long, long periods of time, which is just super duper helpful, especially for things like, you know, underscore for documentaries or dramas or just whatever. All right, I'm gonna jump down to the pads. Let's start with the very first one, the Cascading Infinite Pad. those drones they just keep going fantastic all right let's try the curtain call infinite pad So, so cool. All right, let's see what else we've got here. How about... Do Not Breathe Infinite Pad. These are really cool. All right, let's go to the Hallucinations Infinite Pad. How about the Lighthouse 2? There's some more that fall off the screen here. Let's just do a couple of more. How about New Places Infinite Pad?
man, these are so beautiful. I just didn't realize a double bass, <laughs> double bass samples could make pads this absolutely fantastic. How about paper thin? Let's do that one. Let's do one more of the pads. Let's see, how about, there's one below here, the sky was close. Let's do that one. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, with the pulses, let's start with blue pulses. See what that's all about. Modularium, let's try that one. And finally, the swells. Let's see what we've got here, starting with the Flotando muted swells. So gorgeous. And the normal muted swells. So gorgeous. 
And let's try the non the the non vib. And the soul pot, let's do the vib soul pot. And finally, let's end out with the Soltasto Vib Swells. That, my friends, is the lovely Double Bass Textures by Emergence Audio. What a very cool library. I mean, obviously with the Infinite Motion Engine, you've seen our reviews before, likely with the Infinite Motion Engine, there's just so much flexibility here between the effects and the main page, in the modulation, and in all the randomization that you can do. You've got over a hundred different presets, you can obviously build your own. You know, there's an init patch where you can just simply grab the sound that you want, combine it with the other sound, you know, work with your ADSR, control the LFO, uh, modulate any parameter that you want and just really go crazy. And if you don't want to do that, you can just randomize things. So just a whole lot to like here. I got to say for me, the highlight of the library has to be the drones and pads. I mean, there's so many other beautiful parts of this library, but the drones and pads were really a pleasant surprise for me. I just did not realize that double bass textures could be so stinking cool. Um, it's not just about super low sounds. It's just there's there's a grit and kind of a, I don't know, just a, a there's a darkness that also is kind of like a dark beauty to so many of these patches. Lovely, lovely work. Once again, Double Bass Textures by Emergence Audio. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks for checking out Double Bass Textures with me today. So what do you think? Do you own any of the previous Emergence Audio libraries? How does this one compare? Comment below and share your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to check out samplelibrarywreview.com for more news and reviews and stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.